Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this one, you'll learn how to move your throttle channel to SBUS channel with the latest feature of the BL Heli 32 firmware. Um, all you will need is basically an SBUS capable receiver, a programming card. In my case, I'm using like an Arduino Nano board. And a BL Halley ESC, BL Halley 32 ESC to be specific. Um, let me tell you a little of a backstory. If you're following uh, Flight Point on Instagram, uh, please do if you aren't. Inactivity allowed. Okay, sure. Uh, you might have been noticed that um, we're getting ready with a new F5K glider. This is the Balsa Wood built up glider with a full house wing. Mm, so we have four servers in a wing, we have two servers here and as of course with gliders you would like to keep the weight, all of weight, as low as possible. So that's why in, our, in my case um, I'm using an Ephra Sky x Lite Pro receiver uh, transmitter. So when it comes to receiver choices, uh, for me it narrowed down to a few options. So one is like in my case, Archer GR6 receiver, same series GR8 receiver, and variations of these receivers without uh, Vario. I really wanted to have Vario, so that's that's these are my choices. So if you will compare the fuselage and a GR8 receiver, I mean it fits, but it's quite bulky. GR6 is way better and like you can imagine that it's way lighter than jar 8 so basically this this is the one that i choose to use with this model the main problem with it is that basically we have five pins here one two three four five and we have the sixth pin here for for the regular PV, pwm servos like this is the pwm channel outputs but we have basically seven plugs, seven jar plugs that we need to plug into this receiver for this model to fly. Ideally, because like if you want to have um, specific control over each flap, if you would like to use the U like Y cable and uh, run your flaps on a single channel, like you're totally covered with this one. I really wanted to have um, like a separated channel for each of my flaps. So basically, the problem is that we have six pins here and we have seven plugs um, in, like, inside the glider. So how do we overcome this? Uh, since JIR6 uh, has an SBUS protocol, uh, I started thinking about some different options. Uh, actually, there are a few. First one, I can use an Sky SD1 SBUS to PWM converter, which weights close to nothing and costs like 10 bucks uh, and connect one of my servers, for example, to the SBUS output. We have like a separated um, connector here on the receiver. Then I could use the same thing with uh, X, like for FRSky XX servo plugged in directly to the SBUS output um, or like to the smart port because that, that works a little differently. Um, and basically have the same thing. So like the, the, that will be an extra plug that I'm missing. And then I found the most convenient, in my opinion, and in my case, uh, solution um, is using the new feature, which is provided with the latest update of the BL Halley 32 uh, firm firmware, which is actually loaded on my ESC here. Um, like, if you could see the sticker, mm, this is a Turnergy Multistar BL Halley 32 21 amp ESC. And the best thing about the BL Halley 32 is that with their latest release, 32.8 at this moment, at the moment I'm, I'm recording this video, it allows now configuring an SBUS channel for the ESC to read from. So basically, I can like get away with the current thing, like without any additional devices, and 
plug in my receiver right into the SBUS output, uh, plug in my ESC right to the SBUS output on the receiver. And that's pretty simple. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so first of all, we'll need to update our ESC. For this purpose, we'll need our programming card, USB cable, or laptop in my case. So I plug my pro programming card to the, I have white wire as a signal on my ESC and then black wire as a ground. Like this. So now let's open our BL Halley suit. First of all, um, if that's the first time you're using the BL Halley suit, you will need to create an interface uh, or make interface for your Arduino board. Uh, you can do that here and um, basically just choose the board that you have in the first drop down and then also choose four way interface for Arduino. I already did that, so we'll not cover this uh, at this moment, then go back to the ESC setup. Um, here in the Bill Halley interface you need to select four-way interface, otherwise it will not work. Then uh, once we have everything connected, uh, so just, just a note, uh, connect the Arduino board to your laptop or PC or whatever, or your device, and you can, at the same time you can also connect the ground and uh, signal wire to the ESC connectors, but not yet powering up the ESC. Press connect, so this way we are connecting to our Arduino board interface, so you see it's connected, it's like flashing different stuff. Next step, we connect our ESC, uh, sorry, we power up our ESC. Let's hear the confirmation sound, and then press check. So now our Arduino board and BL Heli suit will find our ESC. You can see that's a little different from what I was showing on the video, uh, but the, the process is completely the same. Press OK. And now we are in our ESC. So you see the current version of the firmware, it's 32.6. And you can see what options we have for this ESC right now. Now let's uh, first of all update our ESC. To do that, just press Flash BL Heli. You can see our, our speed controller. Then we just choose the version. You can either choose 32.8 to get the as bus settings or choose the latest BL Heli revision and press OK. Um, it asks you if you want to confirm, of course. Then wait for the process to complete. Once done, you'll have this kind of confirmation. Press OK and now we can explore some new settings. Oh, yeah, just reconnect your ESC once again. And now you can explore some uh, some settings that we have in our ESC uh, with the updated firmware. You can see right now it's 32.9. And the thing which is the most interesting for us, for the purpose of this video, of course, is the SBUS channel. Uh, by the way, like compared to 32.8, I think they added the S port physical ID. I haven't played around with this yet, but I think it could be also beneficial. Uh, so for now, let's focus on the S bus channel. So to configure our CEC to work with the S bus channel, we know, for example, that our S bus channel is for throttle is number seven. Uh, in in my model, especially, so we just put this slider to the channel seven, and once done, you just press right setup, 
So it's updating the settings of your ESC, press OK, and that's done. So just for, for the future reference, you can also play around with different settings here. Like Bill Halley, like Bill Halley is a very powerful software, so like you can do that on your own. Uh, once done, then you can unpower your ESC, then press disconnect your Arduino board to restart ESC by disconnecting and connecting power for use, of course. And that's it. Now let's get back to our model. Now, for the purpose of this video, I will be using the default cable that comes with any FR Sky receiver. Um, so in our case, it has different pins here. By default, uh, this yellow will be in, like in this jar plug. So you just need to pull it out and replace it with a white one because the yellow one is a smart port while the, the white one is actually an SBUS output, which we really need. Um, also, in my case, I'm using the positive and negative wires as well to power up the, my receiver while actually positive one is, is an optional and uh, like at least for for the for for the connection to the speed controller. Uh, for the next steps, let's configure the model in OpenTX. So for the model that I have set up here, um, my throttle channel is on the like is channel two. I see I have the throttle cut here. Let's enable it. And basically, I just copied the same mixes to the channel 7, which we configured in our ESC. Uh, now, let's just connect it. So, for, again, just for the purpose of this video, I have this adapter, which just three pins, which, is, which slide into one connector and slide into the second connector. Make sure that uh, you get the wiring right, so you have negative to negative, you have signal to signal, and positive to positive, because um, that's that's quite critical. Then let's cut our throttle, because we have a prop on our model. Power up our ESC. You hear the confirmation that ESC is enabled, so we have our throttle cut at this moment. Then let's enable it. Here we go. Yeah, don't forget to put, put your throttle, throttle into the zero position. Um, and basically, it's now working. Throttle cut off again. Double check. Unplug. And voila! Basically, this way uh, you can get an extra channel for any SBUS receiver around. And in my case, I will be using that for the full house glider, uh, full house uh, F5K glider, which I would like to, to keep as light as possible. And the same thing will actually work with the four channel receivers. So for example, if you have a flaperon F5K model and you would like to use a four channel FR Sky receiver uh, as an example, uh, you can do pretty much the same thing as with a six, six channel receiver and get like a fifth channel for the four channel receiver. Hope you liked what you learned today. Give the video a thumbs up if you do. Share it with your friends. I will appreciate your help. And YouTube algorithms will do as well. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.